Today has been all about looking 20 years into the future and offering a perspective on what the world could look like in terms of new innovation, technology and its impact to business. And to share that with the corporate partners who have come here to listen to our uh, foresighting academics. The future is not something predictable. I think we know that very well. Um, but it is something that's going to happen <laughs> anyway. And if you can get a handle on what you want that future to look like, then you can play more of a role as an agent in making that happen. You know, the nature of the companies and businesses that we're facing today are only for today. And if they don't continue to evolve, if they don't continue to embrace certainly the new research that we're developing, that's where their, their future is there. It's, in, it's, in, it's ahead, it's not behind them. Yeah, we all like doing it. We all like having opinions and ideas about the future and this gives us a chance to do it um, in, while wearing a suit and tie at the same time. The morning session was all about Imperial academics giving their personal perspectives about the future. We had Julie McCann talking about smart dust. We had Eric Yateman talking about data and interconnected cities. We had Finn Giuliani talking about new classes of super lightweight, super strong materials. And we had Professor Hankin talking about how our online digital identities are creating a digital shadow. Putting my ideas out in front of an audience like that was a bit nerve-wracking at the start. Um, but I haven't talked to people and it's been so well received actually. Uh, it's, it's been amazing actually, it's good fun. <laughs> yeah, I think academics have a, can be quite useful in giving a, a healthy scepticism to ideas. We're quite used to criticising and being criticised in what we do and how we work. We followed the morning session with tutorials. These are opportunities for companies to immerse themselves in the future. It was a collaborative process where each tutorial saw representation from many different companies, all exploring what the future may hold for them. I'm very interested in what's going to happen in the future and it is literally being invented here both in the sort of the broader context but I'm particularly interested in some of the tutorials where people are actually talking about very specific things that they think are going to appear and disappear, which apart from anything else is, is great stuff for books. It's not about anticipating the future, it's about thinking how you can create the future. And a lot of that is about the strategy and that's why we have so many board level people here. We see their companies not only responding to what might happen, but to actually create those futures for themselves. This wasn't just a bit of fun, this was a competitive process. Um, and the uh, outputs of those sessions were presented on stage by the delegates themselves. My sense is that the day has provided a neutral space for people from various different industries to come together and give their different perspectives in a safe environment so people can dream here. Yeah, just as we want to see our academics crossing boundaries between disciplines, we're really pleased to see the firms that we work with crossing sectors and exchanging ideas. And I think in a way we're providing a safe zone where um, you can discuss ideas that you might norm not normally have with your colleagues. I think it's been excellent. I think it's been a great vehicle to try and uh, bring together different industries about the great big challenges that we all corporates are facing. We're actually converging to the same kind of you know, needs and wants that the company or the corporates need. It's not a classic uh, technical conference where everybody's thinking perhaps the same way or is in the same field and that gives you that really interesting. It does challenge you, you know, it's not, it's not an easy day but it's a stimulating day certainly. So the end of the day, of course, is not the end of the conversation, but merely the beginning. And we hope that these will continue not just tomorrow, not just next month, but for years to come.